Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Norfolk State Spartans and the USC Trojans. It's showtime, baby. Let's skip the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Trojans are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested or not, Brad, they still have to do the following things. First of all, play your game. It's up to the point guard to make certain that they stay in their game and they play at their pace. Second, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. And lastly, play every defensive possession like it's the last. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. Dumps it in. There they come with a double team to stop it. Off the rim and no good. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Shot's there if he wants it. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Watch out. Five-second call approaching. Step out on that screener. Can't get the shot to drop. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Goes up for two. And he scores it off the glass. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Trying to feed inside. Up fake. And he'll kick it back outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to go inside. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Gave it up. Number 22 receives the ball. Trying to draw some contact. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Number 45 fakes the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They work the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential to the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately block out and get good rebound position. Number 10, receipt, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dick, if you ask me, they're not getting a whole lot of open looks tonight. They're not moving the ball the way they were taught, Brad. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. That's a 10-zip run. see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Yeah. 
showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. He unloads a three, way off target. Looking for contact, perfectly executed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. They still don't score. They look to get it to the inside for the bucket. In and out. Number 32 is fired up and ready to go. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walked with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the wall, wall fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 13 with the foul. First personal foul. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. There's a high screen. And our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. And he'll kick it back outside. Gave it up. He's got some room. He puts up the tray. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. USC have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. On the inside. Stolen away. pass in the paint. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And the ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. The center handles the feed. Set that screen away. but opted against it. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dick, are they being taken out of their game offensively? Hey, they're taking themselves out of the game by rushing bad shots and not executing an offense. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Looking for a good shot. We'll take the shot. Off the rim and no good. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Gave it up. Top of the circle. They work it around. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Number 13 is called for the foul. Second personal foul.
The chanting continues. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? The center handles the pass. Jump hook from the low post. And in and out. There's the fake. And he'll kick it back outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Goes up for two. And he missed. Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tries to get the D to bite. He makes a nice shot fake for the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Double team now, that angle. Looking for the foul, and he scores it off the glass. On the outside. He wants a three. That's an ill-advised shot. Hey, Brown, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. For two, Norfolk State are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Jumps into the defender. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Think right now, gonna focus defensively. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Number 35 takes the pass in the paint. He goes for three. That's a 7 nothing run. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. I love the NCAA tournament more than maybe anything else in sports, and I love first halves like this where both teams are playing well. I tell you, two teams well coached, two teams who understand about offensive and defensive efficiency and understand to minimize fast break opportunities. This game is coming down to who can execute better in their half court game because you're not going to get any easy layups tonight. They work the perimeter. The skip pass is picked off. Number 35 is pounded on his way up. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad.
The Spartans go to the line for the first time in this game. He misses the first shot. Second shot is good. Norfolk State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. There's the trap. He up fakes. Number five is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. He's got a high post flasher. Lobs it. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Number five draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. There's the block. The ball goes out of play. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. That shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important on how talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. turnover puts it on the floor and up and under I tell a good post play because the footwork was excellent so many guys walk with their pivot foot he does a great job showing more ball, ball fake and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make a spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Gave it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. USC are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Takes away the pass. They'll work it around the arc. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Up and inside. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The replay's not even enough for this one. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really does do a great job of sealing them off.
in the paint. Fakes the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. It's stolen. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The ball goes out of bounds. Ten seconds to get it off. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Shot clock violation, Dick. They really put the clamps on them there. Clamps is right, Brad. They ran, but they couldn't hide. Fakes a jumper. For the bucket. And in and out. On the outside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He goes to the line for the first time. He got it. Dribble gives it up. Pushing that basketball. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a good shot. On the outside, the Spartans have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. He makes a good move using the pro hop and draws the foul. He goes to the line for the first time. Makes his first. Both free throws go. STOP. This place will be off the charts if they can get a stop here, Brad. He tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Here's a flash from the post up high. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. They work it around the perimeter. He puts it up. He gets it to go. Two for one opportunity. Entry pass in the paint for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. They strip him in the back. Basketball got a little too fancy, too much mustard there. And the ball goes out of play. OK, 
Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. Strips the ball. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. At the half, the Spartans are down by eight. Now let's rewind a little bit here and watch the play of the half. USC really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Dick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. The point guard takes the pass. A high screen. He gets that one to fall. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. He'll kick it back outside. Working it around the perimeter. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He goes with a baby hook. Can't put it down. Up and inside. Sets the screen for his teammate. He takes the shot from the baseline. from the top of the key. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his board. I look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> he takes the rebound. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's knocking him down with ease, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. team for two basket falls despite the contact they'll work it around the arc takes the pass in the paint drops the bucket despite the harm moving it around the perimeter looking for a good shot on the outside, he's got an open look for the shot. He buries it. Shot goes up and in. Hey, there's just too much space. <laughs> Try to come up with a steal, and they do. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just through excitement with that jam. He looks for three. He couldn't get it to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. The small forward with the ball. 
Goes for the deep one. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Look at that spacing. He attempts the trifecta. There was no doubt about that one. Should have basketball help one another communicate goes up for two can't get the shot to drop Nick he's in a serious rhythm hey that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm Brad very important he goes to the free throw line he misses it. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. The point guard takes the feed. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Defensive play anticipated well. If you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. And now they'll bring it up. And he scores despite the hack. Looking for a good shot. Three, way off target. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. And he'll kick it back outside. Launches away. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. The center gets the ball. Stolen away. Gave it up. The center gets the pass. He shoots from right of the circle. He's money with a shot. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He gets the bucket to fall. The Trojans are up by four. He fires from long range. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Braun, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. There's a double team waiting there. It's stolen. USC are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put an offense. Number 20 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. Defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Right? 
Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attack from the trip to the basket. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. For the bucket. In and out. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Number 10 picks up the foul. Second team foul. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Picked out of the air. There's a steal. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. He comes away with it. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. out of bounds. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man is fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. On the outside. Double team now, Matt Angle. Steals the ball. And now getting back the other way on the break. USC are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. He looks for three. Rims out. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration in that possession, Brad. To the line. Gets it. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. That's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. In the paint. The Pac-10 has been and continues to be a solid conference. You can always expect a fast-paced style of play. I love being out there on the West Coast. Not to mention the exciting brand of basketball that they play out there. Shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Makes them both. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I tell you, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Up it inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Had to go up high with a shot. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Number two. Basket's good, plus one. He showed how a senior is supposed to play in big games, baby. With the freebie. Sinks it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Moving it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, way off target. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They still don't score. The Spartans trail by 13. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He takes the three. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Momentary look from three-point land. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. First shot is good. USC are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Second shot is good. Side. Stolen ball. Here they come on the break. There's a slam. Take a look right here. He explodes to the basket. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. In the paint. He strips him clean. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. Look at that spacing. Got a wide open look. Robs him of the ball. Number 20 is pounded on his way up. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Visit the charity strike. Hits the first. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. No doubt about it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. Up and inside. Steals the pass. Trying to draw some contact. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Stop it. Rims out. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Top of the circle. He nails the bucket. Number 35 with the foul. Fourth personal foul. There's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Basket falls despite the contact. Tries one from three-point land. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. For the deuce. And in and out. Those long arms trying to get in in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. For the bucket, in and out. Working it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 10, it's modest play is having a negative effect on his composure, emotional. He couldn't be much lower, I don't think. He needs to take a deep breath, refocus, and get after it. He shoots from the baseline. How about this? Goes out of bounds. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. 
All factors that are important in close games. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. A little bit of one-man backcourt pressure. Cross court. Up and inside. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Got a nice screen. Shot clock goes off. Yeah, Brad, the defense had him locked down that time. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. No good. Second shot, good. Norfolk State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. I'll tell you, it's time to start fouling in order to stop the clock. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few in your team and they're active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. Change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. You gotta be ready for anything if you're the opposition. He unloads. Great shot. This one might go down to the final buzzer. At this point in the game, block management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situation. Moving it around the perimeter. From downtown. They have the foul to send them to the line and hope they miss. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Gave it up. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management for that. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. to make the free throw. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Spartans are now in the bonus. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. At the free throw line. Opportunity... Makes the front end of the one and one. Well, the arc looked good. Collects the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second one is no good. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. 
The Spartans call a timeout. And let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. Aaron's right about that. We might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. From beyond the arc. Oh, yes. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. He has to get it off quick. And we go to overtime. This is college basketball, USA style, baby. Regulation couldn't solve anything. These teams are headed into overtime. Dick, the only thing I don't like about this is somebody's got to lose this. When you get to the NCAA tournament, all of a sudden you're in overtime. Five more minutes or more. It can't get much more exciting than this. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. Does it get any better than this? You talk about awesome, baby. Overtime game in the NCAA tournament. Wow. How golden is that? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number 32 draws the personal. And there's a look at the foul situation so far. Hey, know when to foul and when not to foul is a great skill to have. Coaches should always be communicating this with their teams. Misses the first shot. This team has got to be so frustrated, they are terrible at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. He tries the three ball. Way off target. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. He pulls the trigger. It's good. Look at that spacing. He gives him the fake. For the bucket. He gets the bucket. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of reject it out of there nice block shot the last line of defense is a good block up and inside unloads a three that's good he's just not giving the effort on defense he's not putting up a good fight at all he beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And a momentary look from three-point land. 
I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble down a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. Second shot is no good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Makes his third. He dials long distance. He buries it. Pressure on the ball, hit on the ball. On the outside. He makes the shot. So important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He brings it down. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They work it around the arc. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. Goes up for two. Easy one. Pass is thrown down court. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Strips the ball. Time out's been called. Let's check in with Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. Let's get back to the action. A five-point lead could go either way with this much time, Brad. Oh, it certainly can, Dick. The ball handler might be in trouble here. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good close play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Gets the second. They can make it very interesting with a score here. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. There's the screen up on top. Nope. They work it around the perimeter. Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. USC opened the tournament with an impressive first-round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.